I expect the same graphic on Father's Day, by the way. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we, we, we spend a lot on, on moms, and so we should. But uh, disproportionately more on moms than we do dads. Now, look, that's just the way it is, and, and we deal. Uh, but we do know it will be a record amount this year for moms, uh, and probably as it should be, although I think dads get the short end of the stick, but we're not <laughs> craving attention. Back with me right now, Melissa Armo. We got... Michael Lee and uh, mom for the second time, Lauren Simonetti, just had a beautiful baby. Um, so, Lauren, I begin with you. Those numbers are fairly accurate. Um, they're, they're accurate. I didn't say fairly. Uh, w w women and moms get disproportionately more. About $10 billion more. Right. We do. I have a and podcast you you on it. all of this. We're momming today. Shameless plug. Moms traditionally have done more. So if you if you lay out a, a, a picture of a track and you have yes. the mom running and the dad running on the track, the dad's field to success is wide open. For the mom, there's her job, the load of laundry, the kids' activities, and I think that dad realizes that and spends more on Mother's Day. However, it is changing, and it's changing fast. Dads are doing a lot of work these days, so I bet you the Father's Day numbers come in even higher this year. What do you think, Michael? Why is it so lopsided yeah, in favor of moms? He's very well, careful. Like, he can't win with his answer. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the technical reason is because jewelry is a higher price item than, say, like a DVD or something that you would get for a man. But also, uh, as a father, uh, I don't really need that much. You know, I've, I've got a family. That's that's all I need. Aww. But my wife, you know, has to deal with the... Have you already got your mother's day gift? He's been, oh, he's been stressing out about you know, it. Some, some people leave it to the last minute. Hold, hold on. Hold on a second. And Mrs. Lee? Yeah, we'll get to, back to you in the commercial break, all right? No, no, not a doubt. Melissa, what happens? Why is that the case, though? And it doesn't bother you on any level. Well, no. First of all, I'm not a mother, so okay. God bless all the mothers out there. But right. you know what it is? With my, when it's Father's Day, my dad comes to New York and spends a day with me. So dads like That's activities. Nice. Dads nice. like to do stuff, whereas mothers like the gifts, the spa days, the jewelry, all of those things. Dads like so to be So moms active. are needier is what you're saying. Well, well <laughs> no, I'm not like saying that. I'm just saying moms do a lot Stirring of things, and, and right. dads like to be active. So for a dad, if you spend the day or the weekend with your father, then that's like a present to him. So okay. that's why there I think they, they, they spend an activity instead of actual gifts. But, you know, the, the backdrop for all is this is a great economy and all of that, so obviously these numbers are going up, and in this environment, you don't have to be a mom or dad to appreciate that, right? I want peace and quiet, by the way. You do. And as you guys were saying, that is free, so you don't have to spend any money on me for Mother's Day. All right, now, the, <laughs> the latest is still an infant, and the, your older one is how old? I've got a three-and-a-half-year-old daughter and a one-year-old son. Wow, okay. Yeah. So, that, yeah, I could understand the appreciating just Mom's quiet. popular right now. I'm trying to absorb that because my kids want to be with me all the time. But I know as they get older, as you know, you're, yes. you're not cool anymore, right, no, Mom and Dad? No, that, yeah, that cool. ceased years ago so, for me. So, you know, I'm um, constantly on at home. Okay, I understand. Do you uh, have your Mother's Day gift for your oh, wife? Oh, yeah. sure. It's, Who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> it's tomorrow, right? Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, when I look at this on the numbers, my, I mean, uh, you, you don't have to be a mom or dad just to appreciate the fact that uh, maybe we use this day to appreciate people who are important in our lives, but it does help that you have a nice economy going because that's sort of like a, a bipartisan sort of nod to, I can do stuff here. Well, look, Neil, you look at the employment situation right now, you have 1.3 million more jobs available than people looking for work. Uh, and what's been interesting about the last two years is the bottom 10% of wage earners, are, their uh, earnings are up about 5%, which is almost three times the top 10%. So what's really transitioned over the last two and a half years is everyone's starting to benefit from this. There you go, moms so, and dads alike, and all the kids. Hope it keeps there going, you. right? Hope it keeps going. All right, your wife is on line one. Yeah. <laughs> Every mom has a wonderful big day tomorrow. You certainly deserve that. You, you put up with us. Uh, and, and guys, you know, even though your wife is not your mother, you are obligated, just so you know, to, to get her something. I learned that apparently years ago. <laughs> That'll do it. Here comes Fox.